All right. In the meantime, Natalie, it is Pride Weekend in St. Petersburg. Downtown is going to be crowded, to say the least, with people for the state's largest pride celebration, all leading up to tonight's big parade. Brightside reporter Madison Allworth, she is already there. And uh, we say a big crowd, Madison, but just how many are we actually expecting down there today? It is a huge pride celebration, the largest in Florida. Last year, there were over 200,000 people. This year, they're expecting just as much, if not more. So, of course, security is a huge part of this weekend, making sure it's safe and fun for everyone. I was able to speak to the chief of St. Pete Police, and he told me how they use the natural elements of this part of downtown to their advantage when it comes to securing this parade. First of all, we have the water that helps us out, but we also will have officers on the water in boats, and we'll also have officers in the water on jet skis. And then at a certain location, we'll have heart barriers. Uh, where people cannot get through and in other locations we'll use sanitation trucks or water trucks to also block the path but we also use those vehicles just in case we have to get some emergency equipment onto the parade route they can move back and forth so Bayshore is not open yet is still open now for cars but we're walking along from North Straw Park which is where that parade starts as you're probably seeing. So it starts there, it makes its way all the way down to the Dali Museum. And along this route, there's gonna be those 200,000 people. But of course, as you can tell here too, there's gonna be a lot more than just the actual parade. So around two o'clock is when you're gonna have the different stands opening up, the food, all of that, all of that fun at two. And then of course, when it comes to actual parade, you gotta know that too. The Trans Pride Parade, the only one in the country that kicks off the Pride Parade, starts at 6.30 and then followed up closely by the 7 p.m. parade as well. And of course, 10 News is gonna be there. We're the official media sponsor. So not only are we giving you all this coverage this weekend, but we're also marching in the parade as well. I'm super stoked to be marching more like dancing along this whole way. So if you see us, make sure you give us a high. I've been told that we have t-shirts, so there's going to be so much fun, and that's all coming up the rest of the day, Josh. Yeah, we'll be tossing out the t-shirts that you got on. I'll have mine on, and luckily by design, the parade starts as the sun is setting, so we won't all be melting, but we really look forward to seeing all of you. And uh, Madison, I'll see you out there a little bit later on today. All right, thank you so much. Uh, as Madison mentioned, 10 News is proud, very proud to sponsor the St. Pete Pride Parade. Uh, that is just one of many events, though, that we've got going on here in Tampa Bay this weekend. You can find your entire guide to the weekend posted right now on our free 10 News app.